If you follow me on social media, you know that I like to collect old fishing equipment, such as antique motors and plugs and fishing reels. I especially like things with either a personal connection or a local connection to the Chesapeake Bay area. As an example, Captain Drew Payne of Worm Sport Fishing recently stopped by the shop and dropped off this magnificent gift set, JL Huntington Drone Spoons from Annapolis, Maryland. The box and the spoons date back to the mid-1920s and I've never seen another one like it. Thanks to the help of a good friend, I recently acquired some equipment with local provenance that also has a musical cast. This is a pin number 85 Seaboy, made in USA. It dates back to the 1960s or so. You've probably seen them around because Penn made a ton of them between the 1940s and the 1980s. There's nothing particularly valuable or unique about this reel, except for one thing. It belonged to the great Charlie Bird. Now, if you're not familiar with the world of jazz and traditional music, you might not know of Charlie Bird, but I bet you'd recognize his sound. Charlie introduced a style of Brazilian music in 1962 called Bossa Nova. In a collaborative album with Stan Getz, his song Desafinado pushed the record to number one on the charts and helped define an entire subgenre of jazz music that remains popular today. Charlie was born in Virginia, but eventually moved to Washington, D.C. and then to Annapolis, where he played frequently at local clubs and restaurants. He was an incredibly gifted guitarist who favored classical gut string guitars. Like nearly everyone else who settles in Naptown, Charlie bought a boat. He picked up a used 23-foot O'Day that was easily recognizable because it was appropriately named. He called it, I'm Hip. My fishing buddy Tom Lagana is a well-known jazz guitarist who studied under Charlie Bird. He's kept in contact with his wife Becky and she was nice enough to not only give me Charlie's reel, but also his fishing license and original boat registration. Now she's got some stories about fishing with Charlie and he claimed to be a good fisherman, just like the rest of us, while trolling off his sailboat. But he caught one fish that she remembers, although he didn't quite get it into the boat as it slipped off and slipped over the side before he could get it under control. The venue Charlie is most famous for is the Mainstay in Rock Hall. I hope you'll check it out. It's a fantastic little theater that always features great music. Charlie first played there in 1997. Now, I don't know for sure how he got there, but I'd like to think that he sailed from Annapolis up under the Bay Bridge and all the way to Rock Hall in that 23-foot O'Day while trolling with his Penn Seaboy. Thanks for watching this edition of the Chesapeake Minute. I'll have another one coming out in just a few days, so I hope you'll subscribe. For now, let's go fishing.